In this video, we're going to talk about formulas. Uh, formulas are a powerful way to manipulate, combine, and perform calculations on the data available from the tables and fields uh, that you can grab from the data browser inside of the reporting engine. Um, there are two types of uh, formulas available. Formulas which are managed here in the formula browser, um, and then formulas which are have a blank value here, but then are edited in the spreadsheet itself. And you can use the um, sheet relative and cell relative uh, syntax there. So those are the two options available for you. Let's go into um, table managed fields first. Um, you can see that this is actually the Excel syntax, um, which is provided by the spreadsheet gear control um, embedded inside of the reporting engine. So you have if, for example, and, or, um, uh, text, mid, uh, all the formulas inside of Excel, which allow you to manipulate data, are available inside of the spreadsheet engine. Um, practically all of them. I think there's 300 inside of our engine and uh, something like 400 inside of Excel. So you'll see that uh, all these formulas here in Excel, like if one equals one, then show yes, else show no, um, is an example of the type of, of formula. There's mid, text, flow, start number one, number character three. Um, so anyway, those are some examples of formulas that you can do in Excel and also in the in reporting engine. Now there's one important uh, operator which has been added, which is the field operator. This field operator allows you to grab data from a data field um, and it, um, use it in a, a formula. So for example, here we're grabbing the quan response and testing if its value is greater than a million, and we're showing the word above if it is, otherwise show below. So for this one, it's below a million, and for this one it's above. And here we've accomplished the same thing with um, an embedded spreadsheet formula um, where we are comparing the E29 with E34 uh, value. In this case it is above, and then in this case it is below the average. Um, so if you need to um, perform aggregates across cells, the embedded formula is better. If you need to grab data from different data tables, um, the data table formula is better. Formulas can be added from either to either tables as custom fields or as individual fields. So in this case I'm going to add a custom field and I can say um, Sure you don't have the equal sign in front of it. Um, so for example, here's a, an individual formula, and here's a table. This is an individual field, excuse me, and this is a custom field inside of a table. Okay, the third place that formulas are available inside are inside the uh, table filter. So you'll see this drop-down has um, some examples and give you an idea of what you can accomplish with, with formulas. But you can type in your own formulas as well. And this is used to determine whether that row of that um, table is displayed or not. If it evaluates the false, then it, will, it is hidden. And if it evaluates the true, it is, is displayed. So the formula in the table filter needs to evaluate to a Boolean value. And you can see the result of that in both um, the preview for the formula custom field and the preview for the table filter. Table filter. If the field returns a string, you'll need to be com you'll need to compare it to a string. You'll see, for example, in this case, the sample vial position is returning a string, and so I've included uh, the value in quotes. Um, so just be aware of that. In this case, it's a date, and I've included a 
Excel formatted date, which is a single quote, etc. So just make sure that uh, as you're evaluating in your formulas that the data types match. Excel um, supports numeric, uh, date, um, and string value types. So let me just walk through a couple of these examples. In this case, um, we're just te testing if the sample that vial position is greater than two. And you can see that I can um, execute this, even though this is a quan results table, so it has one row per quan result, um, the field operator knows how to look up the corresponding sample object uh, from that quan result based on its sample ID. And so you have available to you all the uh, uh, properties from the sample table. Um, so if I wanted to show, for example, the barcode expected, then I can look at this formula, um, fully qualified formula with the table name and field name on it, and I could then come back to my custom formula, and I could use that in my formula. If I want to see what an example of that value is, okay, I had to take a break to fix a, a brief bug, but uh, as you can see in the quantitation table, I'm able to pull, for example, the sample barcode expected. Uh, in this case, it's a blank value. Um, but uh, this is quite powerful in enabling you to pull data from any of the tables um, uh, despite the type of the target table. Okay, let me uh, continue going through these examples. Um, in this case, we are checking the type of the quan result, compound type. In this case, the compound type has been exposed both in the quant results table and the compound table. So you can pull that same value from either place. Sometimes we'll place a common field on multiple tables. For example, uh, the compound name or the sample name. You'll see that appears both in the quant results and their respective sample or quant compound tables. Uh, in this formula, we are doing uh, an AND operator a not operator, a field operator, uh, and another field operator. So if the compound calibration method is not equal to E estimated and the sample index is zero, the result, the row is shown. In this case, we are doing an OR operator and three fields. If any one of these three fields uh, evaluates to true, um, the row will be, be displayed. In this case, we are testing if the sample type is Cal standard and the vial position is greater than two and the acquisition date is greater than 212. In this case, we're simply testing that the calibration method is equal to E estimated and the field sample index is equal to zero. All right, well, that's all we have for formulas. Um, I hope that this proves to be a valuable feature in creating powerful reports.